One of the things that I find the most interesting about southwestern Indiana is the fact that we are at the confluence of the Wabash River and the Ohio River. And this is a wet part of the world. The other thing that is, that is distinctive about southern Indiana is that we have three major ecosystems that are coming together here. We have the cypress sloughs and swamps coming up out of the south. Then you also have coming in from the west, the grasslands. And then of course you have the entire eastern deciduous forest coming together here. The Nature Conservancy's presence in this corner of the state has centered around acquiring several key properties. Those places are where we grow the beginning seeds of appreciation for nature. We're standing right now at the north end of Eagle Slough, which is 127 acres of wetlands, woodlands, right next to Evansville. This particular location was an old railroad bed, and all it was used for is a dump. So we got together conservation groups that saw the same potential I saw, and we're just now in the infancy of developing this into a conservation and wetland education program. The Nature Conservancy has been a great source of technical expertise. They're working on signage that would allow teachers and students to learn about the value of wetlands. And I don't think there's a lot of kids in downtown Evansville that understand that. There's a school that's only about two to three miles up the road, and those kids will be able to get on a bus and in five minutes be out front at Eagle Slough. When you walk into the area, there's something almost magical about being under the canopy of the big trees and listening to the birds, making sure you don't step on a toad as you're walking down the trail. It's just impressive, and it makes them appreciate what the value of nature is. One of the questions everybody asked me was, what are you going to do with that? It's not worth anything unless we do something with it. Well, in my mind, it's worth more if we don't do anything with it. I love the fact that the Grand Canyon is there. I may actually never see it, but I know it's there. And just knowing that that's protected means a lot to me, even though I may never personally enjoy it. And I hope everybody in Evansville gets to come out and see Eagle Slough. But if they don't, I hope those people that don't come out here also appreciate the fact that it's here, that there are areas like this in our urban environment that people can come to, that school kids can come to and just sit and enjoy. We haven't seen one yet. Slough is a wetland area where basically water stands most of the year, but a lot of times in the summer, it'll go completely dry. That'll allow vegetation to infiltrate it and it will give a good place then for the waterfowl to stop it and feed when the water is heated back into it. So this is basically uh, what we call an oxbow off of the Ohio River. An oxbow well, one time was the bed of the river, and the river has cut another course and left it standing out by itself. 
Well, this is one of the remaining wetland areas we have in the southern part of the state. They have drained so many of our wetlands, our swamps and everything, so it's nice to find an area where you can still find ball cypress, and it's one of the eight remaining stands of native ball cypress in the state of Indiana. So that's one reason the acquisition of this was so important. Migratory birds find this a stopping over point, and they flock to this area to rest and to feed before they start a little bit further north. And the Nature Conservancy has been trying to acquire different islands like this of vegetation so they can get up to the northern breeding grounds. And I wanted a place where people could take their grandkids and show them this is what Indiana looked like 150 years ago. A lot of people's philosophy is to get all you can as quick as you can. My philosophy is save all you can as quick as you can because most people think of Indiana as cornfields and basketball. But we have a lot more in the state of Indiana than basketball and cornfields, I guarantee you. The entire southwest corner of Indiana has some petroleum deposits under it. It's about 2,000 feet below the surface of the earth. And I think that Country Mark is successful because we think it's important to protect the environment. And in our industry, it's the ability to interact with other people in a successful way that makes that organization good stewards of their resources. A steward is somebody who recognizes that the things that they have access to is not their personal property, but it's, it's something they've been entrusted with. Our employees have lived their whole lives here, and this is their world. You can't have quality of life without nature, and you can't have quality of life without employment. Both are vitally important to be, I think, happy and successful and content in life. And when I think of Countrymark's success, it's because of partnerships. It's not doing things by themselves. I think there's a parallel between that and the Nature Conservancy's ability to acquire land in partnership with corporations and landowners and farmers and come together with those with similar goals to put some resources behind our commitment to the environment. I think legacy is important and it's that we contemplate what our responsibility is in our time in this world and how we leave it better than when we came. The Wabash River is the longest undammed river in the eastern United States. It's an enormously long river, and there has been damage to it in some places, but we're trying to bring it back. It meets the Ohio down at Point Township. Twin swamps are down there. That's the northernmost cypress swamp in the country. We maintain that area. The thing is to save at least some of each one of these areas and the plants and animals that live in there. So I think it makes a tremendous difference when children are raised with a appreciation of the outdoors. They have a good sound feet to the ground thing. I think it lasts them all their lives. It certainly has all of our family. We are stewards of this earth. And I think people are becoming to realize that. It's become more of a factor in many people's lives today. As a man that was on our board named E.O. Wilson talked about biodiversity. A lot of people said, oh, nobody will understand that word. But of course, today, if you say biodiversity, almost everybody understands what you're talking about. The more people know and understand about the environment, the more they'll be on board. My dream of a landscape in Southern Indiana would be one which not only has good farmland on those areas that are best suited for good farmland, the people that live here who farm here need to be making a good living. But then I would dream of seeing those areas that are not good farmland be good wildlife habitat. I like to be able to walk out my door in the morning and see birds or animals around me. And I very much like the thought that my kids will have the ability to see the same thing. Conservation creates a level of enjoyment in this landscape that I would sorely miss if it were not here. There's this inborn desire to go out and take advantage of those types of places. We just need to let the kids go out and do it.
that thing called the Midwest work ethic? We fuel it with Super Diesel X4, biodiesel, and ethanol blends. Ask your local cooperative for all American Country Mark fuels and get more per gallon.